Hey, welcome to this Windows channel. And uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about, you know, with Windows 10 coming up and the fact that free upgrades for Windows 7 users with Windows 8.1 users also. Um, how about compatibility? And that's, you know, something I'm scared of in Windows 10. If you're going to go from Windows 7 to Windows 10. One thing of all the tests that I've done with my insider preview of Windows 10 is check out um, you know the key differences in Windows 8.1 and 10 in software and hardware and pretty much what's happening is that if you have compatible hardware software and devices in Windows 8 they pretty much all work in Windows 10 because Windows 10 has the same Windows 8 core there's no major differences what's major in Windows 10 is mostly the um, you know the looks the aesthetics of Windows 10 that's what changes but the inner core of Windows 10 still pretty much stays the same even though the looks are different and so pretty much everything in Windows 8.1 is working in Windows 10 and actually I've tried many little different things. I've even installed Windows 8.1 drivers in Windows 10 Insider Preview, which were working and compatible. Um, but the way that I see it, because I'm a Windows 7 user and a Windows 8 user right now, is that the reason why I keep a Windows 7 machine here is because a lot of stuff that I have don't work in Windows 8, which means a lot of stuff I have will also not work in Windows 10, which means <laughs> that all of you people looking at Windows 10 free upgrade from Windows 7 uh, might wonder if the upgrade's going to be smooth, if it's going to work well, and that is the big, big question here, because from what I see is that Windows 8 does not, um, you know, let you run pretty much all, everything in Windows that, that Windows 7 does. There are some software that don't work. There are some hardware that don't have drivers. And so that means that these hardware and these softwares that Windows 7, Windows 7 actually accepts and works well with, might not be compatible and um, you know I'm a little scared that anyone with Windows 7 going through Windows 10 might come out of the experience with kind of a negative side or never negative thought of it and what I mean by that is um, is you know why why do that if you know that maybe there's a lot of people that actually might have a problem with that? Um, I, I'm really scared of the upgrades from Windows 7 and Windows 10, not from Windows 8, because I think every Windows 8 user will have a good experience going to Windows 10. Of course, I do get messages of people saying, well, you know what, I'm okay with what I have right now. What if I don't want to upgrade? You don't have to. Windows 8 users don't have to go to Windows 10. It's just that it's free and why not? But if you're fine and you're okay with it, uh, you can stay at Windows 8.1. There's no problem there. And, um, you know, in Windows 7, that's the major thing. How is it going to work? You know, I'm not going to upgrade my Windows, my main Windows 7 machine that I use here. That's for sure because it's complex and there's a lot of, you know, software and hardware that's specific, that works well now, and I'm not going to touch that. But I am curious. I will, of course, surely want to try on one machine installing Windows 7 and upgrading to Windows 10 and, you know, see how it goes, uh, compatibility issues, and, um, you know, probably install a bit of hardware, printers, uh, scanners, stuff like that, maybe even webcams, and see what's going to happen basically so that's pretty much the thing that you know is going to be complex and what i'm really really scared is that windows 7 users that decide to take the 
free offer. The ones that have a lot of software and stuff installed on their computer might actually be a little pissed off when they get to Windows 10. So, uh, you know, that's probably the most scary thing that I see in these upgrades. Um, you know, I'm surprised at the number of people that actually send me a message and say, yeah, I'm going to go from Windows 10 to Windows, Windows 7 to Windows 10. Uh, much more than I thought. But, um, you know what? It's a little scary when you think about it. So, uh, these are a little bit of my observations, my personal observations here. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions on what I've been talking about uh, or anything else, let us know and we'll try to post a video or help you or answer your questions. Thank you for watching.